I'm Susan Brown, Assistant Director of Commonwealth Parenting. I'm also a Child Development Specialist, and we are here today at the Children's Museum of Richmond downtown. We're going to observe kids involved in water play, sensory motor play. Water play is one of the best experiences for young children. It's open-ended, there's no wrong or right way to play. It's both exciting and stimulating, but it's also soothing. It is something that will hold a child's attention for a good period of time. Sensory motor play stimulates the brain, and a good visual for parents is to think about small brains on the ends of the fingers. When children get their hands in the water, they are exciting these little brains. Whoa, cool. Neurons start to fire and synapses connect, and a message goes up to the big brain, get bigger, get stronger, get more sophisticated. And this is what moves children to the next level of cognitive thinking. Water play enables a child to experience all kinds of science concepts. They can learn about buoyancy, what sinks, what floats. You can introduce all kinds of objects into the water play so that children can experiment. They also learn about volume. If you have two containers of different sizes but of equal volume, children can pour the liquid back and forth and they come to the concept of reversibility. One of the easiest ways to create a sensory motor experience at home is to set up a laundry tub or some kind of a shallow container and fill it with water and you're good to go. You want to provide things that pour, things that measure, things that sink and things that float. These are cool, aren't they? You ready for your green? You can also enhance the play by adding color to the water and mix it around. It's really limitless. And you can do it any time of year. You can take it outside when the weather's nice. You can bring it inside when the weather's cold. Children really enjoy and get the most play out of the simplest kinds of things. It was wonderful to observe the children at the water feature today at the museum. We attracted a lot of kids who played with the water in lots of different ways. The younger children simply wanted to get their hands in the water and feel the coldness or to splash a bit. And younger children got involved with pouring and measuring and floating their boats. There was a lot of interaction between children that stimulated language and social skills. Moms were involved, they stepped in, they stepped back, depending on how much they needed to be involved. We got wet, but wet is good, and um, we had lots of fun.